Trupiel and Ariel are near the exit to Celestia, where Ari was taken. What are you doing in a place like this? We were offering prayers so that Miss Ari might be safe. Although, I am terribly sorry that this is the only thing we can do. Prayers, huh? Intriguing. Praying is important. Magic is heavily influenced by your mentality. Good to know, yes. You should do it too. As the one who holds the Fate Awakening Crystal within him, your prayers might be able to change her fate. That's true. Okay, I will. Oh yeah, regarding the search party we talked about before, I heard they might be able to spare a few soldiers after the next operation. Cool. I see. A few soldiers, huh? But to even get any help, Jupiel mustn't negotiate a deal with Mario. Remember, I told you not to give up. Where there's a will, there's a way, as they say. If you give up, then who's going to save her? She's got a point. I know. You're right. Sir Shin, it may be hard for you, but please, by all means, focus on the next operation until it is complete. Of course, I know that. If I try to half-ass my way through the operation, I'll hesitate. There will be a lot more victims. Well, as long as you know that, it's fine. I was talking to Jupi earlier, and we mentioned how you might get distracted and make a mistake. You two were talking to each other? When I first came to Cel Celestia, it feels like they fought as soon as they saw each other, but now they sure seem to get along. Well, yeah. It's not like I have anyone else to talk to. Got a problem with that? I ain't got a problem with that. Do you have a problem with that? Nope. Anyway, let's go over the next operation. The next operation? From what I recall, I need to investigate the caves that is inscribed with mysterious runes. It's not like it's going to be heavily guarded as the Omni Magic Refinery or Looker Laboratory, and I'm checking it out, not destroying it. The difficulty level of the mission should be fairly low. Of course, I don't intend to let my guard down or anything like that. Yeah, you shouldn't, because it is not that easy. It isn't. As long as this operation is completed, I might be able to look, go look for Ari. I'm gonna give it my all. Mission 12, where dreams meet reality. And you guys will not believe what happens. Yeah. It is break time. Just try to take a break somehow. By doing what? Breaking my other leg? Boom. Hey, can't you just treat me with a little more respect? Uh, I'm injured, you know? What's the problem? If you want to be saved, why don't you just endure the pain? What kind of attitude is that? Since you used to be human, can't you treat others in a more humanitarian way? I'm now a vile god. I am no longer human. Well, if you're a vile god, then you're still a god. Can't you at least use healing magic? I don't intend to. The sea is near. I'll go capture a prey, so stay put. What's wrong with him? He has such a bad attitude. Even though I asked to accompany him, will I be able to go back? I'm starting to worry. And you should be. Because this is he and... I caught one. Here's today's meal. What is this? Can't you see? It's a salmon. <laughs> Catching a salmon with your bare hands. What are you, a bear or something? And are you telling me to eat it raw? Don't be such a baby. How else would you eat it? Hurry up and just eat already. What the hell? Celestia's way better than this. I can't wait to get back. I bet he can say the same for you. Hey, did you just get transferred to this post? Yeah, that's right. I'll be heading over to that cave. You know, the one you get assigned to when you get demoted. I'm being transferred today. Unlike you, I'm basically being released from my banishment. Well, better do your best. Seriously? Why is Lady Phyllis making us protect a cellar that's in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. There might be a treasure stored inside. But I've never actually gone inside, so I have no idea. 
That's not exactly a good sign. Devil's point of view, it might be a place that doesn't even matter. It is impossible to create an unnecessary facility. Not only because of Phantasma, but soldiers are even being sent to protect it. Sir Shin, it would not be surprising if this facility is so important, they must keep it a secret, even to their allies. That's true. Alright, let's go check out what's in there. Now then, let us fight together! Right. As always, we got a fight. But always before that, there is always our intro. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Smiling Dread 4, and welcome back to some more of the Awakened Fate Ultimatum. Last time, we completed mission number er, 13, was it? Yeah, I think it was for 13, or no. Mission 11. Ah, oh, man, I'm so confused. Uh, but basically, we complete the second half of the last dungeon. We found out that Eric, he's actually been partnered up with Hien, as we saw earlier, and that Mario is once again reunited with Jupiel. So, we'll always a good sign. And it looks like today we are heading over to this mysterious facility, where a lot of craziness is about to be unleashed. That's right, I have actually tackled this, and I would not be tackling this episode again if I had interrupted the recording somehow. Don't ask me how it happened, I don't understand it. But yeah, basically, we're going to be tackling this, and just going to show you guys what happens. But as always, before we get started with our episode, make sure you guys hit that like button to show your support and love in the comments. And as always, if you are new to the channel, and you want to see more content like this in the future, as always, subscribe. And that's about it. Got our defense up. That's all we're doing for some customization. Then we're moving over to the item shop. Now as for upgrading, there's not much we can do. We're just going to combine Slashing Spear, get a little boost. And we can, I think we can do a shield as well. I have support shield. Get to the blue shield, get defense plus 21. Very handy. But now I gotta do some re-equipment. So we're gonna put this on here, get the quartz shield. We have both gems, as we have nothing else to equip. And we are good to go. And, uh, yeah. Oh wait, actually, hold on. All forgot. All nope, not item boost. Uh, shop please. Gonna need ourselves a revive. I don't want to need the pills, we actually don't need them for this, but we will need an extra med kit. Anything else that'd be useful? Nope, that's pretty much it. We're pretty much good here to go. But yeah, this is a tough dungeon, a lot harder than any previous dungeons that we've encountered. As these guys deal massive damage, and or can debuff you in some shape or form. But we can explain that as soon as we get through the lines of runes. Let's get on this. And if my commentary at any point sounds a bit a lackluster, not a full of excitement, I do apologize, but yeah, I am repeating this for a second time, so it's, I'm not really too excited for all this, and I forgot the crab. I forgot that they had crabs here. Don't let me. Okay, switch over to healer. Give me your help. Okay, I'm getting rid of you. You're getting on my nerves. I need your help. Slush. Goodbye. Oh come on, really? This is BS! How is this even possible? Ouch. How are you not dead? God dang it! Oh man. Is this gonna be a common staple in this episode? Just dying early? Better not be. Alright. Kite shield. Hey, you're here. Get okay, ready to get sliced. Snare. Ow, ow. Snare. Snare. You're all kick okay? I'm ignoring you for now. Okay, now I'll attack you. Yep, that'll do some P and SP heal. Anything left? Nope, oh, just a chest, and I'm not risking the crap. Go up. Well, there goes my potency once again. Oh, Wait, attack him! Get quickly. Yeah, come on then. Fight! I'll give you a fight. Slice! Slice! I said slice! Why are you not dead? Thank you. 
Blue gem, don't know what that is. Iron club, might need that, might not. Uh, let's... Uh, uh, footing, let's throw that at him. Get scorched. I thought we gotta stop that, but it's not easier. Yeah. These guys just keep on coming. Oh wait! Nobody likes you. Oh man. Hey, you're here. You can go by. Go bye bye. You're lost already. Thank you. Okay, going up. If I can, can go up, that'd be great. Uh, no. Wait till this guy gets here. Increase my SP. 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 Goodbye. Now then, come here. That voice sounds familiar. Don't know where though. Don't know from like me. Oh man, not this again! Nice! Oh man, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Oh no, 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 not happening again. I know I have one, I have no idea, yeah, medium. That's crazy, that, man. What's happening? I will double slap you, though. That is for certain. Let's go left to see where that takes us. So we avoided him, snail slugger man. We did not avoid them, though. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. They're just following. Go oh, left, 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 left. Okay, well, I just cut myself off. Come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Oh, that actually worked. I did not expect this to find the portal. I was actually not expecting that. So far, so good. A lot easier to get through here, ironically enough, compared to the previous episode. Go up. Oh, I just burned myself. Up. Yep, burned myself. Unless he goes the other direction, in which case I'm good to go. Don't be killed in my way. I prefer to dodge him. Hello. You're there. You are right there. I will be the one to guide your fate. Again, deja vu voice. And check this guy out. Remember him? Uh, he was a bunch of pain in the neck before, and now here he's actually surprisingly a lot easier. I know, surprising isn't it? Dark shots. I did not mean to do that, but. It actually, you know, it's nice. Get rid of you. He can come back if he wants to. So, oh, wait, he actually came back. Okay, we're good. Hey, you're here. You know that you're not the only one. Ow. I would have sliced you, demon. Critical hit. It's cool. Apparently not critical hit. Come on. Ow, cut that out. Speed's running low. Oh, come on, this. Oh, Jesus. Nice, nice. Get rid of him. Ow. Get away from me. You get away from me too. I'm in no mood. If it wakes up, I'm gonna be so ticked off. Oh man. Okay then. Blue gem. Please be heavenly. Oh, that works. That works well. Goodbye! Or maybe not, he's back. Oh, but it doesn't matter, because this thing's right here. Alright, so, I'll take for us back. I forgot about this guy's weapon, the double hitter. Okay, hey, level up, that's good. I'll look for a few of the dead first. Nope, not this again. Final game! Come on, come on, do I 
that's not good. I have this. I'll throw you this at you. That's it. How's that feel? Now, how does that feel? Not this again! I dare you. I dare you. Okay, but I lost this. Good. And there goes my shield! Now, come on! Go away! Leave me be, you monster! Come on, I dare you. Go on. Good, good. Ah, you're coming out of nowhere, aren't you? Go left. Down. Going down again. Upward. Ow. Hi, Bevelina. Just a little more, and my wish will come true. I will be able to awaken the world. This sounds like Letitia's voice, but why am I hearing it inside this dungeon? That is a good question, which I cannot answer for you because I do not know. At least, compared to what the video says. But we'll find out later, we'll, we'll find out. Dark Blue Gem, hopefully that's going to help out. Now just steal high. Once I get back, we're dead, and ah, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I prefer no Jurassic Park for one day, please. Unless you can, you know, fight each other, in which case that'd be awesome. But I have a feeling you're not gonna do that. Nope, doesn't look like it. They're just gonna chase me. You know, I got full HP. My attack attacked you. Ugh, bad damage. Okay, it's good. I got ourselves a boost bill. He's still alive. What the heck? Ah, uh, come on. I can't with this. Dark shot. Dark shot. Come on, man. Come on, terrifying Trina. You got nothing on this shin. Bye bye. And then I go right. I'm going to be attacked by a seahorse. It's explodes in my face. Give me no EXP whatsoever. And then he returns. Because he just freaking hates me. So because of that, I use my, my energy drain and take his HP from the ground. And he's going to steal it for a while, this. So I see. Thank you. Oh man. That kind of was worrying. That's also worrying. Oh! Oh! Good. Oh, goodbye, good greed, good riddance to you. Okay, let's go left. I guess. Okay, for once not in the Or the whatever. The... which appeared, I think it was? This thing. The grip that's what it's called. And now it is gone. Slice. Slice. Yes, yes, kaboom, kaboom. Kaboom all you want. You can come if you want. Just go away from me. Why are you here? I want you to leave me alone. Come on then. Come on then. Come on, then. You wanna fight? I'll, I'll give you a fight.
Okay, then that means the top right is where I need to go. So, like, you're all. I don't really be worried about that, but honestly, I don't use it up as much. Vampire Duke, I've not seen you before. Force Shield, do not need that. I won't need my Angel Form, though. Goodbye. And there's the dinosaur. Fuck with the dog sword. Still not damage. Okay, just enough. Let's be. Gotta go left here. Where do I? Oh, come on, really? That's all you're doing this. Oh man. Now I'm literally backtracking. I'm running out of AC. That's not a good thing. Hi there, you can have a cure all, don't worry, I'm not gonna fight you. I just want to survive. Long enough to get to the ninth floor. That's all I need. Alright, entitled, good, good, good. Hey, you're back. Good. You know what? Shadow trick. I even wasted my time. Just move on. Left, up. He's coming back for me. Oh, ow, shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, uh, hold on, let's just let's get to Angel Swamp first. And then, wherever I put it. Give me HP, please. That's still. Okay. Dude, it's still there! Okay. Come on, come on. I, got, I, got, I gotta have something. I've got to freaking have something. Oh, no. Dark blue. Do this. How's that like climatic? But I don't care. Let's get out of here. I killed him. And somehow I survived it. Man, I never thought I'd be happy to see a death charge. I never thought I would. And yet, there I go. Okay. Lefty. Go away. Nope, I do not want you right now. Oh no, not this again. You guys can fight each other if you want, I'm not interested. Hey! I don't try you. What are you gonna do about it? That's right, you're gonna do nothing. Why? Because I'm too awesome. And... The whammy? Double? Double. Oh, I'll, I'll take that. Why couldn't the original recording have gone this smoothly, I swear? How's it that I'm doing better here than I was before? I don't get this. I genuinely do not get this. Okay, you're here. Alright. We can build. And there it is. Alright then. Alright then. Hey you two, there's something I want to ask you. Have you been hearing something for a while now? Something? Did you hear it too, Ariel? I can hear it as well. So, you both have also heard it? Ah, uh, I see. I guess I'm not the only one who can hear Letitia's voice. Wait, hold on. Wasn't that just in my dream? Why can the two of them hear it? It doesn't seem to be doing any actual harm, for now. It might just be related to this cave somehow. Eh, you're half correct. Could it be... some kind of trap? It's not a trap. It is not a trap. Making us listen to a strange voice that doesn't make any sense? It would only serve as a distraction. But See? be careful. See, Yushi's not worried. Huh? Maybe Leticia actually does exist. Maybe it wasn't just a dream. Sir Shin? Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. Is that so? 
then that is fine. Almost. Just a little bit more. Alright, there's only a little more to go. Guess there's a destroyed pill, which is not useful right now. Might be la useful later if I actually have it. Okay, go up. Come on. The solar colorless gem. I do not know what it does, nor am I interested. Ow! Come on! I do not want to die right now. Got so much to literally live for. Hey, you can have the computer right now. I'm not using it. Come on, where's the exit here? I just want to leave. Can I just leave? That's another possibility. Oh, hey, there it is. Perfect. It's us go to angel form and get out. Land of Ruins, number nine. Slice. Slice. Ow. Get out of here, man. Ah, jeez, lordy loo. Alright. And I think this is where I cut, where I cut off, because I think this is the point where I actually got to. Let me see. Uh, no, actually, no, it wasn't. Yeah, I thought so. So we need to get to floor number 10. That's where I'll cut back to the original episode. Until then, just enjoy what's been happening so far. Now, paralysis, just like before. How convenient. Well, stopping me. Not cool. Come on. It's nice. Self-destruct. Didn't do much damage. They'll leave one heck of a bruise. Bye, Tyrannosaurus. Bye, Tyrannosaurus. It's nice being you. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use this. Just to speed things up a bit. Where do we need to go? Okay, so... Left. Go up. Let's see, we're surrounded by three enemies. But if I take this route... Yes, yes, I get it. You're, you're a baddie. I get it. I get it. Wait, no, no! I did not mean to do that! I was gonna switch it with you! Come on, please switch! Oh, okay then. Woohoo! Got that, guys. Let's get to it for, for this first half of the episode. The second half will be just be me ranting about, about how... You know, how unfair the, the corn cuts off, etc, etc. But I'm gonna leave you guys to, uh, to the next cutscene. So until next time, which will be in a couple minutes. This is Smiling Shed 4, signing out. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Q cutscene. Hey, what are you stopping for? Get off. Hey, what's going on? You must be he and Inugami. Lady Phyllis has ordered us to execute you as a traitor. Yeah, like that's gonna work out well. Interesting. Go ahead. If you can, that is. Damn it! If that's the case... Whoa! Hey! Ho ho ho! Don't drag me into this! Hianinugami! Don't move another muscle! You wouldn't want something to happen to her, would you? I don't care. Do whatever you want. Ooh! Cold! Uh, what did you say? <coughs> yeah. He's willing to let her die. This isn't worth my time. I can't believe it. What's wrong with you? He takes me hostage and you say do whatever you want. Are you insane? I have no reason to go out of my way to protect weaklings. If Shin were here, he'd try to save me. I know exactly why you can't defeat him. You're weak. You only think about yourself. There's no way a guy like you will become truly strong. Oh! Damn it! I'll definitely kill you! It's fine already. There's no way I can stay with someone like you. I don't care that my leg's broken. I'll just manage it on my own. Die! Uh. Guess... I missed. Uh. Uh. She's dead, huh? 
No, she's still breathing. Those who do not have power will just be eliminated. Whether it's the netherworld or the human world, that will not change. There's someone I want to save. I only want to use this power for the sake of someone else. I know exactly why you can't defeat him. You're weak. You only think about yourself. There's no way a guy like you will become truly strong. Hmm. Power used for the sake of others. <gasps> Am I? How? Wait, my leg's healed too? If you're healed, then hurry up and wake up. We'll be attacked again if we don't keep moving. Did you heal me? As promised, I will take you along with me until we reach the safety zone. Hurry up! You're healed now, so I won't carry you. If you were able to do it, you should have done it from the beginning. Quit complaining. Let's go. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, don't you just love it when your her recording software just decides to bonk out on you so you lose your entire recording altogether? Well, that's just that's fun for me, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened, and basically, headset went out, and now I'm only... Well, here. As if you saw the whole, whole this thing, not all. So if you're seeing this, congratulations, you're seeing commentary after, or, or before I have to actually do a recession. Unless my Elgato somehow magically decides to give me back my footage. Which I don't see happening, but either way, I guess time we move on regardless. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So we got ourselves we're getting chased by these things. Oh, Interesting indeed. What is this place? Some kind of exit or something. I don't really get it, but suspicious looking light is emanating from an enormous magic circle. Plus, this place is strangely huge. Why do they need so much space in this room? Sir Shin, someone is over there. I look in the direction Jupiel's pointing. There I see. Who is she? She doesn't look like a devil. Or an angel. I know her. She's a mysterious girl who's keeping, who keeps appearing in my dreams. Letitia. I've been waiting. Sir Shin? Do you... know her? How can I put this? You don't sound very sure. What is it? Is she another one of your classmates? It's not like that, but... It's kind of hard to explain. I am not his classmate. Huh? Did you just respond to my voice? That's right. You're Aria Ligarie. And over there is Jupiel Sora Umi. Creepy! How do you know our names? I've done the research. What in the world is she? You've come a long way. Welcome. Uh, how... Wasn't that just a dream? I have been constantly calling you through the spirit world. But it seems like you kept believing it was just a dream. Can you blame him? Then... That stuff about how you were gonna stop the counterflow from the crystal was... What happened in reality. The power that had been counterflowing from your crystal was corrected by diverting it to my spirit world. 
Hey, what are you talking about? Remember how I told you I had a dream about the crystal's malfunction being fixed? The person who came and fixed it was Leticia. So you weren't joking around. However, how in the world were you able to interfere with Shin's crystal? Through the spirit world, I directly linked a bypass from me to him. That's all. That's it? There is only one being who can interfere with that world. Which means she's... What in the world is this place? Why are you in here? It is a shrine to seal me. I've been here for as long as I can remember. All that time, I have searched the spirit world, looking for someone who can break this seal. For someone fit to awaken this world with me. And then you chose Shin. And I finally found one. Someone who is fit to be that someone. You have become a very splendid god. Break the seal? What are you talking about? There is nothing more for you to do. The moment you set foot in here, the balance of the seal broke. A tiny leak can sink the greatest ship. A seal with a shattered balance is frailer than paper. Without an equilibrium of interior and exterior pressure, it shatters. Uh-oh. What is this? I sense an immense amount of power. This might even be stronger than Hian's. You are quite splendid indeed. You started from nothing and grew to be a god in such a short period of time. You opened the door to the world, which had been barred shut with your very own hands. I pay my respects to you. What are you saying? To break the seal, so I could flutter my wings on my way out of the abyss and extinguish all foolish things that run rampant in this world. Can you repeat that? Did you just say extinguish all foolish things in this world? And most of all, to guide this world to an awakening. You really have become a splendid god, for you have granted my wish. Oh boy. Seal? Extinguish? What is this all about? It doesn't make any sense. What are you saying? Awakening the world? What are you? I am Leticia Liberatius, the vile god who was created in the netherworld. Vile god? The vile god? The netherworld's god? So there were other vile gods besides he and... Well, since they failed so many times, it isn't that strange for them to have succeeded once. Right and wrong. I am not the Netherworld's god. A god for the sake of gods, who belongs to neither Celestia nor the Netherworld. That's me. Well, that explains the looks. I've been waiting for the appearance of a new god. For you to come here. Would you like to become allies? What are you saying? Uh, who's...? The method to ceasing all battles is to root out every existence that contributes to the cause. No other method exists. First, we must exterminate all existences and rebuild from there. That itself is the one and only way to awaken this world. So I... We... are going to purify all things. We will awaken the world that has gone to sleep, and return it to its ideal form. What kind of... Are you saying that in order to end the war, you will use war? Irony to its best potential. Your conclusion similar to that of a computer pushed to its processing limits. Because you are locked away, your conclusion is ambiguous. Lame. I have watched you this whole time. You have the power to awaken the world, and you have earned that power. Come with me. I want you. What are you saying? You're not making any sense at all! Who's going to come with you? That's unfortunate. Then I guess I have no choice. What do you intend to do? Use force. What is this? Is this really a vile god? Impossible! A vile god this enormous? There is no such thing. 
I'll show you something good. Beautiful fireworks to commemorate my revival. Uh-oh. Hey, what is that? Did Lady Phyllis make something weird again? This is... A convenient little town nearby that I can see. I made it so that you guys can also see it. You wouldn't dare. Do not tell me. Cease at once! Hey, don't tell me you... the town... Did you completely wipe out non-combatant civilians? What? You're more like a devil than an actual devil. Despite being a vile god, you used to be a human. How were you raised to be like this? The blessed light that rouses the world that has fallen asleep. Isn't it pretty? This is... her main body already went up. It's the same as what Ariel Agarie is using to communicate. It shouldn't be all that surprising. Now for the topic at hand. If you won't be my ally, I'll fire the same thing in the direction of Celestia. At this scale, it'll take one blow. <laughs> please wait. Sir Shin, please do not fall for such a threat. She's right. Who cares about the blessed light? There's no way I'd allow someone so selfish to destroy Celestia. Don't listen to her. I am the one who interfered with his spirit world, and moved his fate so that he could grow to become a god. You might even say that I am a god to Shin Kamikaze. He has constantly been running on the rails that I laid out. What are you saying? And that person, who is me, is saying that this is the way it should be done. Therefore, you must obey. What do you mean? You just entered my dreams every once in a while, said whatever you wanted to say, and then just went away. Those were not just dreams. That was your spirit world. Interfering with that world correlates to moving your fate. By interfering with your spirit world, your fate turned around. Are you saying that the current me only exists because of you? Don't give me that bullshit! The reason I'm standing here right now is because Jubiel and Ariel were there for me, not you! I came all the way here of my own free will. Don't just stroll out now, reveal your big secret, and act like you're God! Just as I thought, those two are obstructive existences for you. They are obstacles that prevent you from wielding your power. What are you... <sighs> Guys, what's going on? Huh? Jubiel! What happened? This is... The power of the crystal is counterflowing. Don't tell me. Is this your doing, Letitia? I simply restored the flow of the energy to its original path. The only ones who can withstand the influx of power from the spirit world are those who have the potential. Those without it will simply end up as monsters. I believe you saw that. At that laboratory. You mean those people who were called Nephilims? That's right. Those two will eventually become like them. How about it? If you join me, I can choose to save those two. What the hell? That's cheating! I'm the one you want to make a deal with, right? They have nothing to do with this. What do you say? All you have to do is walk alongside me. If you do that, these two can be saved. Looks like the devils have launched a counterattack. First, I'm going to wipe out the group who would just get in my way. Cut out, Letitia. Leave them alone. These two lives rest in my hands, so you would best think carefully. I'll come back for your answer. If you change your mind, join me. I shall welcome you anytime. This is... Jupiel? What has happened? Lord Shen, what in the world has happened to her? Mariel, please! We need to go back to Celestia at once! I've got to save these two!
better entertain me. And that's it. We're, that's it. Letizia just goes out to destroy the army, and we just said, okay, let's head back to Celestia, and then five seconds later, we're back? I do not understand any of this. But you know what? I don't even complain. Let's just move on to the next event and see what, what transgresses. I tell Mariel about everything that happened in that room. The vile god, Letitia Liveradius, a being who has constantly interfered with you, modifying your fate so that you would become a god. To awaken the world, she is trying to wipe out every existence. That would be all angels, devils, and, assuming the worst, also humans. Also, she temporarily fixed the malfunction in the crystal, but is now using that to force you into becoming her subordinate. Correct? That's basically the gist of it. Word for word. It seems difficult to believe such a story. Basically, you are saying that what you thought you were dreaming all happened in reality, yes? Yes. You two. Is it alright for you guys to be awake? There's no way I can stay asleep. Now's no time to be sleeping. Sir Shin? Sister? What is the current situation? We have confirmed that an enormous flying object has flown out of the place where the mysterious facility is located. With a single blast from that object, an entire netherworld town was completely wiped out. Such offensive power is horrifying. In order to embody her own ideals, she demolishes in the name of purification. She is like terrorism incarnate. No kidding. Destroying the world for peace? That sounds exactly like terrorism. As of right now, I feel like Letitia is leading me around by the nape of my neck, in regards to the erosion caused by the crystal. Nape? Yup. Yeah, just go. If I join her, she'll be able to save these two. Tisha was the only one who suppressed the malfunction within the crystal all along. In that case... Sir Shin? Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. Sorry, there's something I need to do. So just call me if you need me. Hmm? What is there for you to do? Hey, Shin! Sir Shin! Is something the matter? That's right. If I just sacrifice myself, I'll be able to save two lives. Then as long as I go to Letitia's place, the moment I place my hands on the exits of Celestia, I hear the, foot the sound of footsteps coming from behind me. As I, as I turn around, I see... Uh, we're really doing this now? Yep, we're doing it right now. Thank you very much, Sir Shin. Sir Shin, where do you intend to go? Chupiel. Do you intend to go to Letitia? Yeah, she's after me, so all I have to do is go. That's basically it. I don't want you two to die. It's the only way to prevent the erosion from the crystal. So? Sir Shin, that would mean you would be taking the side of that terrorist, you know. It is true that you might be able to keep us alive. However, do you intend to lend a hand in mass murder only for our sake? That's... Wrong. I have no reply for that. The fact that I'm going to her means that I will automatically be lending a hand to her? She is merely a young child who wields immense power. To only utilize power for violence means you will not be able to maintain justice. You have already learned that lesson, correct? You swore that you would never again drown in your power, correct? More importantly, do you really believe that would be saving us? Even if I survived, I would not be happy at all. She's right, that is true. What kind of stupid decision was I making? Jupiel, I'm sorry. I was just about to make the same mistake again. There is no need to apologize. After all, I am your exclusively assigned angel. My duty is to serve God, so that He may become a splendid God. Also, I want to stay by your side more than anything else. So, if you are about to make a mistake, I shall not hold back in fixing it. How reliable. Regardless of the reason, 
Letitia will attack indiscriminately. She did not say it would just be against the Netherworld. She may attack Celestia, or even worse, the human world at any moment. We need to defeat her. Sir Shin, please lend me your power. Jupiel reaches out her hand toward me. Actually, she's always been the one lending me her power. I'll help her as much as someone like me can. As I take her hand, I notice her palm is abnormally sweaty. And time it all off, she has a fever and she's shivering slightly. Jupiel, again? I am fine. This is nothing. More importantly, let us go stop her at once. So here you are. You wandered off, so I figured you were taking a break at the plaza. With the atmosphere around here, it looks like you both have already said everything you needed to. Seriously, what a troublesome god. Shin, let's perform that emergency measure I was going to do before. Then it won't block the influx of energy completely. It'll help. But it won't prevent it completely, right? Correct. However, it's much better than not doing anything. We will be fine. Jupi and I have already made up our minds. So, rather than us, you must carry out your own beliefs. You want to protect as many people as possible, right? I'm sorry, you two. I know that already. I'll be fine. It's always like this. Don't worry about it. Yes. Also, I am sure you will rise to your feet without giving up, Sir Shin. Rise to my feet, huh? The old me would have totally denied that immediately, claiming that it's totally impossible. But now, with the current me, I can strongly declare that I can and keep stepping forward. Let's go defeat Letitia. And like that, just leaving it on a cliffhanger, I presume. Screen's at black, nothing's popping up, which means either a trophy's coming up and the save thing is coming up, or it's just taking too much time to load up. Either way, I think that's going to end this episode off. I uh, got, might have to do a, another re-recording of this. Yep, there it is. Mission accomplished number 12. So I might have to do another re-recording of this because of the corrupted earlier footage. So I got to get to work on that. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Awakened Fate Ultimatum. If you did enjoy, make sure you guys, as always, show your support by hitting that like button in the video. And as always, if you want to see more of this show or the series in the future, make sure you subscribe for the latest in the content. And until next time, this is Smiling Dread 4 signing out. Have a great rest of your day. Take care, my friends. And wish me luck with this re-recording. I'll see you guys next time.